In total, 515 disciplinary infractions were reported in 2019, compared to 223 in 2022. That's acting principal of Grandly Adams Memorial, Major Andrew Skeet, referring to stats to illustrate the decline in reports of deviant activity at the school. He credits the improvements to several interventions, such as curriculum changes, the introduction of remedial programs, and enhanced subject offerings. In 2019, the overall percentage pass rate across all awarding bodies was 71.2, or approximately 324 subject passes. In 2022, the overall pass rate was just about the same, but this time with four awarding bodies on average 560 subject passes. Through the school, scores of students have wet their feet in the world of work, using opportunities to hone their skills through work attachments with 29 businesses. Others have been pitching in to spruce up the school compound. Our electrical installation students who are still with us install the conduit for this conduit work, the tubes for the network cabling on the four form block. Installed conduit work for the security cameras on our livestock housing. Installed electrical fittings in our PE room and changed electrical fittings in the laundry and troubleshooted and repaired plugs in the home economics lab. Experiential learning <laughs> at GAMS. Learning, learning by doing. In fact, sir, we have a, maybe a small little maintenance department, nobody made up a school boys. Right, and girls. And in her feature address, Senator Patricia Parrish, who is also the CEO of the Barbados Labour Party, reflected on her school days and shared her testimony of overcoming initial disappointments at the then West St. Joseph School. Yes, I had choices. I could have told myself, well, you failed anyway. You did not get to one of the other schools with your friends. Just drift along until your years at this school comes to an end. As I became more and more comfortable in my new school environment while making new friends, I chose the path and type of friends who wanted to be successful. As students of Grantley Adams Memorial School, like me, you are going to have obstacles along the way. Encouraging the current crop of students to embody elements of school pride, Senator Paris challenged students to soar, especially in the face of criticism. You are going to be told you are not good enough. If these words are ever said to you, never believe or own them, nor should you live up to or do anything to demonstrate to the person that told you so to prove them right, prove them wrong. God made you and he made them, and you can be the best that you want to be. As it was the school's first speech day since the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic, hundreds of students were recognized for their performances in academics, sports, and extracurricular activities. Rianne Phillips, CBC News.